Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Monday, August the 6th, 2012. Well, a continuation of the trend to the upside today. Previous day's trading we had a change of trend to the upside, a candle with a higher high and a higher low. And for today's trading, a candle with a higher high and a higher low. For the previous day's trading we had the bulls uh, take control of the market, very strong control, very solid upside momentum. Today a lot of that upside momentum has dried up and that's evidenced by the very small size of the body of the candle. The body is white so the buyers did make net bullish progress but the amount of net bullish progress compared to the previous day's trading is so small that it does suggest that there is potential for a change of trend. We also saw the buyers lose control of this market by failing to close up towards the high and they failed to close up above the midpoint level. So uh, even though uh, for the previous day we had uh, the buyers strongly in control today they've lost control but the sellers really haven't taken control of this market either so quite an indecisive trading in those terms. In uh, terms of the shadow here we have a uh, fairly large shadow in relation to the size of the body and that represent, represents downside price rejection and little wonder it's been the market has been rejected from the 1400 round number area and that's a previous area of very strong support and resistance so uh, it is very important for us tomorrow uh, to watch that level if there is uh, if it is going to hold as a level of resistance for this market. Now in terms of the current Fibonacci extension and we're examining the relationship of the first time frame uptrend to the previous time the market was trending up in the first time frame and the previous day's trading we saw the market rejected from the 61.8% level and we've still seen some rejection from just above there. The market has closed just above there but this indecisiveness and this loss of commitment around the 61.8% does suggest that there is potential for a change of trend. And uh, looking at the Fibonacci um, retracement of the previous downtrend, now that we're in the uptrend, and we have now an expansion uh, above the 100% level. Previous day's trading tested exactly to the 100% level. We had rejection from there, and we're now trading above it. But with this uh, style of trading at the moment, with the buyers losing commitment up above this level, it does suggest potential for a change of trend to the downside. Now in terms of Ichimoku, a very bullish market, uh, the market's trading above the cloud, so bullish in the long term time frame, and trading above the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen, so bullish in the medium and fast term time frames as well. Just looking at these uh, indicators, we've seen here how the cloud has acted as an area of support for this market, and two trading periods ago how the area near the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen has acted as support. So moving forward, if this market does come off, that's an area that we should be watching to if we do have a solid retracement. We do have strong support down uh, at 1378 and at 1370 and below there down to the Kitchen Center, Tenkan Center to 1356. But tomorrow certainly um, let's watch this 1400 area that is crucial to the market uh, moving any higher with this rejection that we've seen today. There is potential for a change of trend. We will require a confirmation of that change of trend and that would be a candle that makes a lower high and a lower low so there is potential for that but if we do see strong bullish activity above 1400 then we could easily see the market trading up to around 1415 or to this swing high around 1422